Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. If you would like to book a personal session with me, you can go to my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. We are taking a look at a bonus soulmate love reading for those of you um, for August 2021. For those of you who are interested in new love, this would be someone who you have not either known very long and or um, this would be someone who has yet to come into your life, right? So that's what it is. Um, I don't have any pre-messages for you, but I do want to invite you all to follow my other social media um, accounts. So I do have a blogger account and my blogger um, account name is Divine Lotus Tarot Talks. And then you can follow me on Instagram at Divine Lotus Tarot. And then make sure you also subscribe to this channel, please. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Let's get into the reading. So, we're going to take a look at those of you resonating with person A side and then person B side. Um, pick the side that resonates with you. Sometimes I realize that the energies jump back and forth. So, sometimes your messages can be on both sides. I realize that as well too. But either way, just only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into it. So, taking a look at person a side we have the nine of wands so i feel like with the nine of wands energy there's a um, guarded standoffish apprehensive energy um around love okay so for some of you, you you could just be feeling like you're not like anyone new who comes into your life you know you're gonna be um i'm hearing third degree you're gonna give them like third degree or you're just gonna like not be so easily to let your guards down okay so this definitely could stem from you know things of the past but looking at the next set of cards some of you are intentionally feeling this way about a person because of the type of antics or energy that they carry around them so there could be a particular reason why some of you are feeling this way and we'll get into that on the next set of cards that we look at um, for those of you on person B side we have the page of Pentacles energy so with the page of pentacles energy here this is an energy that is very slow moving i did hear gingerly so some of you could be um approaching love in a very slow and gingerly perspective or um action or intention i also did hear uh friends with benefits so <laughs> for some of you 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 have the intention of being friends with this person first and for others of you i feel like you think that you're about to try to be friends with benefits with this individual now this also could be because this is how you're normally used to um parlaying and moving with other people that you normally pursue initially so i feel like some of y'all have like like your motive your intention is friends with benefits it's like you're going with in in this thinking like oh you know i'm about to i'm not like i'm gonna take it slow but we go at least be able to like you know have some type of benefits and perks right anyways so as far as how you all are viewing each other on person a side we have the five of swords so i feel like going back to your headspace with the nine of wands this could be why some of you are like guarded apprehensive and standoffish towards this person coming towards you or this person who you've newly met because for some of you this person is a player from the himalayas so this person um for some of you you're seeing that this person still has attachments um that they're dealing with and um for others of you maybe this person don't have attachment skills but maybe this is still the stigma that you're viewing this person as because maybe this is formally something this person used to do and then for others of you you could just kind of be assuming so you, you you could be you know you know what they say about people who assume so, so, so some of y'all could just be assuming that this person is a player okay so that's the other thing and then for us y'all or another situation and what i'm picking up is that there is just a lot of um conflict around this individual so it, it may not even be like sexual partners or love interests there could just be some type of conflict around this person um or around this person's like name or energy or in their environment so it could also just be like maybe their associations or um who they are associated with so it may not even be the person it could just be you know like i said the energy around them okay yes baby so clarifying the five of swords I have the devil card and because of how my layout is you will not see my clarifications I'll just let you know so the devil card here is letting me know yeah there is some type of toxicity that you see being a 
attached to this person now for some of you this is because th this is because this person is still dibbling and dabbling in a whole bunch of other people you know what i'm saying this is someone still trying to maintain i keep hearing cronies okay whatever that means to y'all hold on let me look up and see what that means because i keep hearing cronies cronies a close friend or a companion okay so well then maybe bam that's what it is for some of y'all so it could be whoever this person's friends or close companions are their cronies could have this type of negative energy around them and it could be negatively impacting this person so it could be some maybe drama hoopla or something that this person is being attached to because of who their close companions or close associates are so definitely seeing that with the devil card so this person is still attached to toxic low vibrational cronies okay for others of y'all it's because this person is still engaging with people who um on a sec on a sexual manner you know they're still entertaining people this, this definitely is sex so it's, it's not just they're just talking giving money no these these people are still having sex with low vibrational people and they're still being intertwined in low vibrational activities with these people um for others of you i just feel like it could it, it can and I feel this group of y'all is very small compared to the other two groups. But I feel like for some of y'all, for a very small few group of y'all, y'all are just letting your fears get the best of you. Like, I just feel like you could be so, like, guarded and it's not for your own good. Like, for some of y'all, I really feel like a small, 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 small group of y'all are really assuming that this person is something that they're not. And I think it's because of your past. So for some of y'all, you are projecting your fears, phobias, deepest, darkest, like terrors of the worst possible thing that could happen onto this person. And like I said, that's a very, very small group of y'all. Others of y'all, it is this damn person and the people that they're associated with or choosing to associate themselves with. Okay. And y'all have every right to be guarded against that. Now, as far as those of y'all on person B side, how you're viewing this individual is with the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. So I feel like for those of y'all on person B side, like you're seeing this person just like they're focused on themselves. They could be very patient. They could be diligently like um, just working on things that um, matter to them. So this could be someone who's just prioritizing the things that they need to prioritize. They're focusing on what they need to focus on. Um, for others of you, I just feel like some of you are seeing this person as kind of just like mm, taking a moment to reanalyze and like reassess like, mm, do I really want to be associated with this person? Because um, don't nobody got time for that. So some of y'all are picking that up. You're very well aware that this person is just not really um they're not sure is what i'm getting they're they're, they're kind of just like they don't know if they want to move further you know what i'm saying because here you are coming with this one little ass pinnacle coming towards this person with the seven of pinnacles energy and they're just kind of like i don't think they think that you're serious and i think you know this for some of y'all um some of you are picking up that energy that this person don't really like trust you or that they don't really see you as being serious they they and okay let's let's really get into it so for some of y'all it could be because y'all are younger than this person that's what that's what i'm gonna say for some of y'all there could be a nice little age gap between the two of y'all i'm gonna say five to seven years okay so no five to at least five to ten years so those of y'all coming towards this person person b you could at least be five to ten years younger than this individual so this could have this person a little bit apprehensive and trying to reassess like mm, i don't know do i want to deal with this person because they might just be looking at y'all assuming because of y'all age that y'all immature right for some of y'all that is the case because we heard friends with benefits but for others of y'all regardless of y'all age i just feel this person sees that y'all are a player still like they're aware that you're still it's not even juggling like i, I don't feel like the five of swords is like even juggling like like it's just known whatever this is it's like it's just known that you are a player so this could be something that you're just 
I don't know, like you wear proudly or something like that. I don't really feel like this is something that's like hidden. You know what I mean? So I just feel like even though this is like something fresh or brand new, I just feel this person still doesn't know if they want to be associated with you because because of all the people that you're still attaching yourself to. It's it's like this person you're seeing as just be more they're not as open to whatever you're trying to bring towards them and i feel like you recognize this and i don't feel like this i i feel like you realize this person just i don't know they're they're just not easy to be enchanted or impressed so you could be seeing that as well too like maybe the little things that you do to razzle dazzle these other groups of I'm going to just call it your groupies that you have. That might impress those people. But I don't feel like you are really seeing the full effect of you being able to like razzle dazzle this person in that same manner. So you could be looking at this person as like, damn, like I can't like charm this person like how I charm these other people. Like they're not impressed by that. So I feel like this in turn makes you have to like stop and think about shit. That's what I'm seeing as well too. So not only do you see this person just prioritizing, minding their business, taking care of their life, focus on themselves. Seeing also that some of y'all can't really impress this person like how you do other people. Seeing as well too for another group of y'all that maybe this person is a little apprehensive because we all age difference. Um, I do feel as well too some of y'all are also having to kind of step back yourself and really like reanalyze your priorities when it comes to approaching this person in the connection um because clarifying the seven of pinnacles we got the lovers card coming up so for some of y'all y'all are seeing like that you need to choose like you need to choose between like these cronies or you need to choose between this person or you need to choose between having all these groupies or you need to choose between this person you know what i'm saying so there's some type of major choice that you are seeing that's kind of stumping y'all as well too like when it comes to this person um it's interesting because this means that you see this person as some type of significant light enough to make you really feel like like damn you feel real torn is what i'm getting like your heart is real caught up in a situation i think this kind of catches some of y'all off guard like you didn't think like like you was gonna feel like this about this person and maybe as well too it's like because it's so new like I, I feel like that like for okay let's say those of y'all where you don't have cronies or you don't have groupies that you're dealing with for that group of y'all I feel like you feel like like you're really thrown off the fact that you are really interested in this person and you did not expect to feel that way about this person this soon like this person really has caught your heart you know what I'm saying this person has really made you fall and you didn't even come in with that intention you came in on some let's just be friends let's take it slow i'm gonna take it slow i'm just trying to get to know this person type of energy but for some of y'all you you fail instantly for this individual and that kind of has you caught up because i don't think you've maybe ever felt this way about someone or maybe you didn't expect to fall for someone who was so different from you or something like that but either way um if y'all do have groupies or it's just like other people um who you associate yourself with i just really see that y'all are feeling the same way as far as like being really like um like i just feel like in your heart like your heart and your mind is just telling you like this person is like someone that you don't want to let get away but then it's like for some of y'all you're torn between leaving your associates alone your cronies alone or whatever or you're torn between leaving like these groupies alone you know what i'm saying but i feel like a part of you is just like you're really in love with this person okay now let's take a look at what's blocking y'all so for those of you on person a side we have the eight of swords okay so i just feel like for those of you on this side there could just be people getting in the way interfering in the two of you honestly being able to like either see each other or communicate with each other so that could be the thing that's blocking you all over here um yeah i just really feel like i just feel like it's it's like people 
either getting into your head about this person or people getting into the head of person B about y'all and it's like making the two of you kind of be separated from each other or it's causing the two of y'all to not talk I'm seeing hold on I was just about to say distance okay so yeah um, we got the two of pentacles the two of wands the six of pentacles Ooh, the prince of cups oh shit and the devil yeah so i just feel like for some of y'all it could be um a sense of certain obligations that are like contributing to you all being blocked from this individual so you could be being blocked because there's obligations that this person has especially because i'm seeing distance wise um that this person has to attend to but for others of y'all it could be your own like you could have your own set of like things that you're having to uh deal with as well too especially for those of y'all where this is like in your head you're creating this like weird you know fantasy of this person just being something that they're not i feel like y'all could be your own worst enemy right now like mentally and now, like i said that's only for a very small few of y'all so y'all gonna know if y'all resonate with that or not like because this person will literally be none of those other things not a player not have no cronies or nothing this person gonna be someone who like you've probably always hoped for and dreamed of and i feel those of y'all y'all creating false narratives in your head with this devil energy and trying to make this person to be a bad guy to justify the fact that you know you don't know how to let your guard down because of the pain that you've went through right so that could be some of y'all um, just letting your past get the best of you. Um, it also could be like, let's say for this very small group of y'all that you are at a very um, long distance or you're on two different, you know, coasts from each other or something like that. Or you, or there's a body of water that separates you. Um, you could be allowing your your fears to run away with you. Like, what is this person doing? You get what I'm saying? So so some of you could just be imagining the worst. Like, oh, this person's probably doing this. This probably this person's probably entertaining all these people. Like, and that's what I'm seeing. Like and it and, and for those of you where there is distance, where you're not able to see this person like often, like it's only exacerbating that. Like the fears that you already have and the trust issues you already have, it's like exacerbating that the fact that there is distance here. And it is just making you go like crazy with like ruminating thoughts about what the what this person is doing which they're probably not doing but i feel like it's just your own fears because of things that you've experienced before some of some you know honestly for this very small fruit a uh, few gr group of y'all this could be ex um bringing something back up from your past that could be what that is so maybe you've experienced a similar situation oh yeah some of you could have experienced a similar situation when you dated someone who was long distance from you and this could be triggering that for you all oh so you all need to be careful with that for the very small few of you i feel communication is going to be key because because we have the eight of swords here i feel like you're going to need to learn how to be a little bit more vulnerable and um speak up for yourself like if something doesn't feel right to you address it right if you feel and i'm not saying project your fears onto someone and, and, and put that burden or baggage on someone else and make them feel guilty if they're not doing shit but what i am saying is it's okay to let someone know like um that you've been hurt and that you need some type of reassurance that's going to be like something that would be uh what's the word that this person would be willing and able to compromise that would be justified that would make you feel comfortable because that that way um you can allow this person to show you if they truly are who you're thinking they are or not like if this person is willing to compromise and go the extra measure for you then hopefully that'll allow you to put some of your fears and worrisome thoughts to rest you get what i mean um but then if this person feels like that's not something that's their responsibility to do or they don't want to or anything that gives you a red flag to just make you feel like yeah you're feeling your feelings are like like you have a right to feel the way that you feel then i mean that would be your answer right then and there right 
but you also have to just realize um your fears are your fears and you have to learn how to like master and deal with that yourself as well too it's not really all 100 percent on this person to like completely do that for you like you have to do your part as well too okay and then for others of you what i'm seeing is um it's just other people getting in the way and throwing interference um in the connection um some of you you know the the distance could still be a thing as well too but i, I definitely see there's other people still trying to hang on to this person they don't want this person dealing with you they don't want this person talking to you they don't want this person coming to travel to you it's like these people are just like mine 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 they don't want this person to have no type of access to you so these could be all types of like um you know individuals who are just very jealous and possessive very needy very clingy very codependent on this person on this person's energy on this person's resources whatever this is it's like almost like this person has a lot of people around them that just can't stand on their own um and they thrive off of what this person brings to the table so some of y'all legitimately do have people who are running interference um making it difficult for you and this person to um connect okay now for those of you on person b side you have the tower card so i feel like for some of you all um there could just be blockages um with i i feel like a shit show okay so i just feel like shit is hitting the fan here um i just feel this is this is the energy where the tower comes in and says enough is enough Yo ass gotta go you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go so everyone who needs to go is is fucking exiting stage left um whether they like it or not and that's just what's going on over here and i just feel like a lot of you some of you could be you know causing this to happen but i honestly feel like the tower is here because we had the lover's card to come up so that means that the for a lot of you this is a very significant spiritual connection and with that being said you can't block what the universe has divinely orchestrated so when the universe says something is then that's what it shall be so a lot of y'all you ain't gonna have to do nothing the tower is just gonna come and sweep these people about your life anyways who think that you know it's a game and others of y'all y'all could be actually the ones you know being the catalyst for these tower moments because you know you could just be at your damn breaking point and you just over these people right yes okay clarifying this tower energy we got the eight of wands we got the ten of cups we got the lover and we got the prince of swords so yeah some of y'all are gonna just like take some type of bold initiative and it's gonna create the tower moment in or anyway so for some of y'all it could be a situation where you are just cutting people out others of y'all i feel like the action um it's gonna be initiated this these tower moments are gonna be initiated once you decide to choose this person and you you reach out to this individual because there's some like i said there's something with y'all not communicating or y'all not seeing each other so whenever you whoever y'all are on person b side or whoever resonates with this side whenever you take some type of swift bold action to travel to see this person or to communicate with this person the tower moment is going to happen it's, it's just going to naturally happen and it's going to cause shit to quickly move into motion as it's supposed to um because this looks like for some of y'all you're going to be compelled to do so because the love and the attraction between the two of you are so strong like you're going to be compelled to take some type of initiative so that could even be what is the situation over here for some of you it could just be the fact that you need to take some type of initiative and do some uh initiate bold swift action towards this person others of you it's a situation where you are actively choosing to cut certain people out of your life and then for others of you a tower moment's going to happen and then you're going to be able to move towards this individual so yeah Okay, so as far as the action that the two of you are wanting to take towards each other, we have the Empress on person A side, and then we have the Queen of Swords on person B side. So when we're taking a look at the Empress energy, I just feel like um, for some of you, you're just going to sit pretty. You know, you're going to sit pretty. You're going to sit and allow this person to take action towards you um, or do whatever they need to do because you know who you are. You know what you stand for. You know what you deserve. So I just feel like a lot of you 
you know you're just gonna sit there and allow this person to come towards you um because as this person should you know what i'm saying like if you're not if if you're not the person who is creating the obstacles and roadblockages in this person's life there's no reason for you to be trying to pursue pursue someone who doesn't have their priorities straight so i feel like a lot of you are gonna sit pretty mind your business continue to tend and nurture the things that make you feel good and you're gonna allow this person to do the action you know what i'm saying because they need to like if they have people around them that they need to let go of that's not your problem that's not your burden that's for them to handle and take care of that they ain't they got nothing to do with you you know what i'm saying and um y'all yes yeah, so like i was saying so a lot of you are just going to sit and allow this individual to come to you because i feel like a lot of you will continue to practice self-love self-care um continue to honor yourself and the people who truly cherish value and respect you um I feel like you all know what you bring to the table so you're just going to continue to focus on you know yourself you know and if this person sees your value great if they don't whatever you know that you're you know that you're an empress you know that you hold this type of energy so and this status so I don't think you're too bothered um is what I'm seeing for the most part the empress is a uh, is the empress naturally just has um a attractive energy and a magnetic quality so regardless if this person sees your value or not you know who you are and you know that you you know what you deserve and you know you can get it so that's what i'm seeing um the action for those of you in person b side we have the queen of swords so i just feel like those of you on this side like you're definitely needing to speak up like you're gonna have to speak up and approach this person on person a side you're gonna have to make the initiative you're gonna have to make your feelings clear you're gonna have to get clear about your priorities and be honest with yourself and honest with the people around you as well too some of you are also gonna have to let people know that you can't deal with them anymore okay or put people in their place you know what i'm saying when it comes to certain things like if you're not completely removing and detaching people then you're gonna need to put people in their place and let them know like okay this is what you can't do you can't infringe on these type of boundaries that i'm setting because i'm choosing to be in a relationship with this individual over here so i feel like if people don't respect that then th for those of you with this queen of swords energy then you're definitely gonna have to cut your losses and i see you doing that okay so clarifying the queen of swords we have the five of cups the seven of wands the chariots the four of pentacles and the emperor energy so we actually have the emperor emperor energy coming up on person b side so now we have the empress and the emperor energy making its presence known in this spread so i feel like those of you on the emperor side like i said that's why or on this side person b side are resonating with this energy that's why you have to approach this person because that's what the emperor does the emperor takes initiative the emperor takes action the emperor goes after what they want the emperor steps into a position of authority and control and I feel like when you step into this energy, um, this is going to allow you to see and realize, okay, yeah, there are some people that you're going to have to cut your losses with. It's going to be sad, five of cups energy, but you have to establish boundaries with these individuals, seven of wands, or completely tell these people that you can't, be, they can't be in your life anymore. And then the chariot is you moving forward and taking initiative, regardless if people like it or not. Because with the Four of Pentacles, you're wanting to hold on to this Empress. You know this Empress value and you see this Empress as an asset. You see this Empress as someone who you want to settle down with, who you want to have a long term relationship with, who you want to be the mother of your kids or the person who is your spouse. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you are stepping into this Emperor energy and uh clarifying this queen of swords you're going to take the the necessary action to protect because that's what the queen of swords does the queen of swords is a protector she protects what is hers she protects what is right okay and the truth is with the queen of swords you you see true value in this empress and you can no longer allow people to hold you back or get in your head or continue to keep you entertained or intertwined in anything that's going to keep you from having what you truly want and desire right so 
looking at your final outcome which would be the best outcome for the two of you if you both take your actions and the guidance of this spread the five of wands is here okay this is talking about standing up and fighting for each other like i feel like this is the energy of the two of you not playing when it comes to each other this is you fighting for your love so that means that you're going to proactively um let the people know who need to be put in their place not to come for your significant other or your um partner okay but i also feel this is a sense of the two of you being very passionate about each other like this is the energy where it's like the two of you just excite each other so much it's like the intensity of the connection just really um brings a whole nother level of competitive excitedness out of you but it's 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 a good type of energy here is what i'm saying so this is that energy where it's like okay if there is long distance and or travel necessary th this is like doing what you need to do so the two of you can see each other like making it a priority like okay like i know i'm busy like what what is your schedule you know like actively being like okay well what is your schedule you know because i want to see you you know what i mean like i'm gonna make time for you type of energy or knowing that the two of you may have your own lives or things going on and it's like okay well let's make time to like let's make it a priority to like talk to each other like we at least need to go on a date like this many times a week or we at least need to make sure we implement this or um you know things of that nature i just feel like it's to me it's like the fighting but it's like healthy fighting you know what i'm saying like fighting for your relationship that's what i think of when i think of fighting for your relationship it has to be healthy like the two of you need to realize like you're not supposed to be fighting and working against each other like you're supposed to be fighting with each other against other people who are trying to come against your relationship like you, you there should never be a reason where you let someone come in to your happy relationship and fuck that up like there should never be a reason where that is okay for anyone to do that and I feel like a lot of you have had situations previously where people have done that. So I feel like this is why the two of you are going to go to bat and go so hard for each other to make sure that you are always on the same page. So it's fighting for the connection or fighting against those trying to come against your connection is what I'm saying. Like this, this is that energy with the five of wands here is what I'm saying. It's like, like you don't want to make it. You don't want to make it so that anyone else can come in and take what you got. You don't want to leave that type of space or opportunity or put the thoughts in each in either of your minds like that. That's even going to be an option. Like, I feel like y'all don't even want people outside of y'all to think that that's an option. That's OK. And I feel like y'all want to put each other's minds at rest as well, too, that e each of you feel like there there's no one else that compares to you. Like you are everything like you are worth fighting for. And I feel like maybe for some of y'all, this is new for you because maybe you've never really fought for a relationship before. Or maybe you've never been with someone who made you want to even fight for a relationship. You know what I mean? So this could be bringing out, like I said, a, a very healthy, competitive, like possessive type of energy within you um, to protect what is yours. Um, I'm also seeing the devil energy at the bottom. So this definitely could be um, for those of you who will be sexually engaging with each other there's gonna be some bomb sexual healing and bomb sexual loving between the two of y'all because it's real passionate <laughs> with the five of uh, wands energy it's real passionate okay this is like i can't keep my hands off of you and even if y'all not like engaging in sexual activity maybe it's just the fact that okay let's say okay l let's just look at a few different levels for those of y'all having sex y'all gonna have some very intense passionate sex right for those of y'all who not having sex yet at this moment because like i said this still is a very new connection for a lot of you um it could just be a situation where y'all just can't keep your hands off each other this could be a situation where you're always um passionately displaying um public displays of affection towards each other like you always got to be around each other you always got to touch each other you always gotta um you know nibble on each other or lick on each other i don't know whatever whatever y'all floats y'all boat and then for those of y'all who ain't even on that level and it's not it's, it's not there yet i just feel like this is just, 
the intensity and the connection between the two of you is gonna be so hot and intense like it's gonna make y'all have to um like you're gonna really have to um hold it together because it's gonna be like oh my goodness like i want this person so bad but for some of y'all it's a situation where you're not at that level with this person yet so it's just like i feel like the intensity the sexual intensity and magnetism between the two of y'all is gonna be so strong it's gonna be like like you're gonna have to like you're gonna have to try to fight and resist it so that that could be as well too with the five of wands here it's like like you really trying to fight like no like i said that i'm not gonna have sex till i get married and then it's like i feel like it's gonna be very um hard to resist each other even if this is something that the two of y'all have already stated that y'all want to do but i feel like anything having is worth fighting for and that's what this five of wands tells me that the two of y'all will do so with that being said those are all the messages that i have for you if you would like to book a private session with me you could go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com